Hey everyone, welcome to the uh, how to build a HTML CSS web page series. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to make your own portfolio site. So what I've got here is kind of like a basic portfolio website. We've got some posts, some images. I've also got a couple links here at the top. We've got an about section. I've got a resume section that highlights some of my work. And then I've got references. So this could be useful to somebody who's learning web design and uh, you know wants to advertise themselves out there, pick up a few more contracts, and or you know just show showcase some of the work. Um, this could be useful to pretty much anybody. You don't even have to be somebody um, who does web design for a living. You could just be somebody who's trying to advertise on you know, whatever skill set you might have from uh, college. So without further ado, let's talk about how to build this website. So I closed the window from our last movie and I'm going to show you how to build the website that I showed you uh, using uh, just, um, just from scratch, basically just using uh, some simple software and uh, tools. If you're on a Mac, which is what I'm using, um, you already have a lot of the tools that I'm going to be showing. Uh, if you're on a Windows PC, definitely just try to follow along. I will make a separate Windows version um, soon. So um, on a Mac, what we want to do is when we want to build our web page, um, I've got here in the final folder that uh, I made to build that web page. And all web pages, like from my previous video, um, actually sit inside of a folder. So if we look here at our folder structure, we've got a about page, an index page, a references page, resume page, and they all have the extension .html. So whenever you create a web page, you're going to want to make a web page using the .html notation. Um, I'll show you more about that in a second, but also in our folder we've got some CSS files too, and we've got some images. So actually the easiest way to build a website is to use a framework. And I think um, it's probably easier explained if I just show you what I mean by that. So there's a framework called Skeleton, and if you type that in your browser, you'll see there's a website called getskeleton.com and I don't actually mean the skeleton like what's in your body or the Wikipedia page, I'm actually talking about the skeleton responsive CSS boilerplate. If you go to this website and you come here you'll see that this website is all about just um, a really bare bones like a skeleton if you will stripped down HTML uh, website that you can download and start using right now. You don't have to write any like additional code. Uh, it's already done for you. So that's the uh, framework template I'm going to use. Um, so you'll want to go to getskeleton.com and then you'll want to download the zip file. And I'm on Safari so after my download finishes it's going to come to this um, button here and then if I click here and right click show in finder I can see the download that I just got so I can drag that here to my desktop and now I've got a skeleton folder and if I open it I have an index page image files and CSS notice how like the two files are similar in this one I've got the CSS folder and I've got the skeleton files along with a style called my style, that's the style that I put in there. And then over here um, I've got images, a fav icon, and over here I've got that fav icon too and then some images that I added in myself. So in the last movie we learned how to download Skeleton which is a framework for how to build a, a simple HTML web page without having to write out all of the HTML code that goes into a building a web page. So like I discussed, all web pages belong in some sort of folder and when you download Skeleton, 
it gives you like everything you need to go right from the bat um, to having your own very folder, an index page, some CSS files that you can use. And the thing I like about Skeleton is that it's really, really um, very, very um, stripped down. Like there are no, like there's other frameworks like Bootstrap that you could use, but Bootstrap requires a lot more studying and like having to know what every single class definition or ID definition does. Actually, I would just say class for um, for all of the CSS styles. And um, you know, if you're just getting started with building web pages, it's more easy or it's easier to just kind of start with something very simple and go from there. Like start learning what all the tags mean and how to use um, different source files. So that's why I chose Skeleton. If you were on a browser like Chrome or Firefox, then you'll want to check your uh, downloads folder or wherever you save the skeleton file and basically just drag it to your desktop like I have here. So next I'm going to rename the file and again like if you're on a Windows computer you want to do the same thing here you want to rename the file and I'm just going to call it my website and I have my website final and my website on my desktop and for those of you who are following along, um, you can go ahead and download uh, the final version of the code from my GitHub, which I'll put at the bottom. And once you have that file, you can download that file also and then put um, it on your desktop and then we can compare these side by side. Um, I'll make another video on how to use GitHub um, if you're not familiar with that. Uh, but for now, just check out, um, just follow along, and uh, we'll go from there. So in our last movie, we renamed this folder to my website. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the page. You can do that by opening the page or the file with uh, right-clicking on the file and then choosing your favorite browser. Me, I'm going to pick Safari because I like it. It's faster than Chrome and Firefox. Um, but if you like Chrome or Firefox, feel free to use any of those browsers. So I'm going to use Safari. And then you'll see like here's my basic content for that page. So um, it's pretty blank. There's like nothing really except just this text here. And that's the way I like it. You know, when I'm building a web page like from scratch, I don't really want a lot of stuff. Um, I actually just want to get uh, right into it and um, you know uh, work from there so let's go ahead and move this real quick and let's go ahead and compare this side by side so again this time I'm going to open this file instead of using Safari I'm going to use my code editor and um, again I can point you to a link on what are the good types of code editors um, which one's a good one uh, but, um, you know, the three main ones that I like to use are, actually there are four. There's Dreamweaver, there's Coda, Sublime, and TextMate. Um, I prefer Sublime out of all of the code editors because it's just um, got the best features built in. And it's really, really uh, simple to use. Um, and it's also helpful at, like, um, looking at different files fast. And it works with something called the terminal, which I'll explain later in a different video. But for now, let's just go ahead and use Sublime. Um, if you don't have Sublime, I would recommend definitely downloading it. And uh, again, here's a link to the video to how to use Sublime. So right-clicking on this file, I'm going to open this file with Sublime Text 2. And here, we can see how this page here was created from the HTML that's written here. So anytime you want to make a web page and put it on the web, uh, you have to write it in the HTML markup language. Uh, some people use other languages like PHP or Ruby or Python, um, even Java to create ultimately these index HTML files, HTML tags. So you really want to get familiar with understanding this, especially if later, let's say, you want to understand something like WordPress and what's going on there, you definitely want to understand first what are the tags and what do each of them mean. So here, 
um, every web page starts off with a doc type. Uh, because most pages use HTML5 now, or most browsers use HTML5 now, uh, such as Safari, Chrome, and Firefox, and um, IE11, I want to say, IE10 and 11, um, you can go ahead and assume that most pages are using this. There would, in other um, uh, older pages, you might see older doc types, you know, where something is longer typed out that might use XML. But for our purposes today, you want to just assume that every page uses this um, tag. And then, um, and by the way, you don't have to worry about this because it's already built in for you by Skeleton. So then every page also starts with an HTML tag. And this little um, note here means we want to have this page display in English. The language should be English. But you could change this around to like French or Korean or Japanese if you wanted to. Then after the HTML tag, you have a head tag. And notice something here. The HTML tag um, ends with an HTML tag. So this little sign here means end the HTML tag. Same with the head. We've got a head tag and then we've got an end head tag. And then with our body tag, we've got an end body tag. So all the pages um, start with an HTML tag and then they have a heading tag which is where you want to put things like um, a title for the web page, you want to put um, some meta information like a description or an author. Um, and this you could actually fill out yourself like you could say this is my portfolio page and then the author could be your name. And let's just kind of for um, practical points, if you're already following along with me, you might want to just open this page up in your index.html folder from your My Website folder. And uh, just go ahead and start typing the page title. So you can pause the video actually if like you need to catch up. But um, go ahead, once you've got everything uh, ready to go open this page and then if you want to like change title with me or change the description you can so I'm changing the title probably to my portfolio since that makes the best sense and then um, if you scroll down you know you can fill out this description page and then the author uh, description content and then the content for the author and um, you'll see here that we've got a link. Uh, this is a link to a style sheet, which is a CSS file, and more on that in information uh, in a bit. Um, we've got some more CSS files, and these are the CSS files from the skeleton um, that were included with the skeleton folder. And then we've got a link for our image, which is for our fav icon, which is going to be what sits up here or usually like in Chrome, like it'll be on the side. So let me give you a picture of a five icon real quick. So this is kind of like a fav icon, right? So if I were to go to, um, you know, Dropbox, that's a popular site. Um, you can see the fav icon right here. That's what that image refers to. Then, as we scroll down, um, we've, uh, we're out of our head. So in our head, like that's where all of the meta and the CSS and all the declarations go. In the body, the body is where you want to type out all of your content, like what you're going to put on the page. And as you can see here, this basic page lines up with this basic page. And then we've got another tag here that is a P tag, that means paragraph. And the information here at this index page is a placeholder with a CSS font and fav icon. It's just waiting for you to add some content if you need some help to hit up the skeleton documentation. So that's what's being written here. We could change this, we could actually cut this out and we could say, my portfolio 
And the H4 tag just means heading. Anytime you see an H tag followed by a number, it means heading. And inside every page too, by the way, is a div. Um, you know, some web pages don't do this um, if it's poorly written, but most web pages today have divs. And um, on the divs, you'll have things like classes, which relate to CSS. Um, and styles that are also related to CSS. Um, so anyway, we're going to put all of our content, like our headings and paragraphs, inside these divs. So if you're following along, you definitely want to put in some content like, hi, this is my portfolio page. And then we're going to save it. So you can do that by pressing Command S on your Apple computer or um, Windows um, Start S or Control S, or you can just drag down from the file and then hit Save. Anyway, you want to save it, and then um, to view this page again, you can just refresh it, and you can see all of this stuff has changed. Oh, it looks like we spelled portfolio wrong. So let's go ahead and change that here and now it's portfolio so there you go like you've already learned in this first video how to like examine a page inside of a folder view it with Safari or your favorite browser we'll view it with Chrome this time and then you also learned how to edit the page using your favorite code editor uh, I use Sublime, but we could definitely check out TextMate too. And there we go, we have the same HTML documentation that's already written out for us. Um, if you didn't have this, you would have to create this file all by yourself and write all of this information out. But the nice thing about Skeleton is that it does it for you, it gives, it, gives you a framework you can already start with, so you don't have to start from scratch. And it's all HTML5 compatible, as opposed to something from a long time ago that is probably outdated. That's the nice thing about using a framework like Skeleton or even Bootstrap later which we'll get into at a different video. But by using these um, frameworks you get all of this stuff right out of the box. You don't have to rewrite it. You can just jump in and then you can start editing the code um, and you can see with your browser um, by opening it in Safari or, favorite or uh, Chrome how the page will look by just manipulating the text here.